Well, good afternoon. It's the 16th of August and uh, we've had a nice dollop of rain now onto these stubbles to make them nice and moist. Um, so I've decided to start putting some oilseed rape in today. Um, we're putting some quartz um, directly in with the, with this, with the sumo. Um, this is probably what my third or fourth generation of putting rape in with the sumo. Started probably nearly 10 years ago, I think. Standard sumo with the discs in, dribbling the rape down behind the discs and then packing it down. We used that for a couple of years, but then I found that the seed wasn't in, wasn't, some of it was in too deep, some was in too shallow, and really didn't work out very well. So I actually built myself a drill to go on the back of the sumo, which we used for a couple of years and done a pretty good job, really, to be honest. Um, but I found that running the discs in it, actually all it did was actually lose, lose more moisture, and moisture is the key. Um, so how we actually run them today is just with the, just with the tines in, Nothing else, just the tines in about 12, 13 inches. So as you can see, here we are. You can see that the weight, the weight that the leg is creating, a nice wide six to eight inch band behind what we're dribbling the seed into. And as I said earlier, I think that's better than having the discs on there mixing it all up because that's where most of the moisture is and where you get most of the seed to grow. It worked very well last year. And I think we're going to do the same for all of the land again this year, just the same, with no discs in. So if we just have a look in here, um, the leg basically has created a wake of soil and all we're doing is just literally just dropping the seed about a metre, metre and a half behind the wake. Um, and I find that's, that's all you really need. Moisture is absolutely key just to get rape, rape going. It doesn't really t matter about too much about aggregate size. As you can see, we've got some pretty chunks, pretty big old chunks of soil in here. But all, I, all I'm particularly worried about is just keeping the moisture in. The rolls will be here shortly, get this rolled in. Um, so we're putting it in about 50 centimetre rows, so the bands of seed are probably about sort of four to six inches wide in 50 centimetre rows. Um, like I say, we'll get it rolled down and um, hopefully it'll get away to a flying start. We've got a few issues this year. Um, we've got no neonicotinoid seed dressing, so we've just done uh, Radiate, which is a, um, a, a rooting, rooting compound to help good, good rooting, good establishment and Hypro do it to um, guard us against the damping off diseases. So we'll have to be on a guard really, as far as um, flea beetle and that goes. So we'll have to be, as soon as it's up, be over it with some cypermethrin or something to be, keep on top of the flea, flea beetle. Um, but uh, it speaks of being cool the next few days anyway, so at least we won't get too much moisture, moisture loss. Um, and then we just need a sort of a rain or two, sort of once a week, just to, just to keep it on the move. Four Seasons of Farming. Available now from Anglian Agri-Media.